Welcome back to the channel. This is Matt Carr with me, my beautiful wife, Veronica. Go out to garage sales and thrift stores to find things to resell on our eBay store. We're going to the Goodwill bins today. We're going to try something we've never tried before. I'm going to be wearing the GoPro on what? the chest. Yes, this is going to be a completely different style of picking, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I think it'll have a better view of what's in frame, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's going to be a first for me, so let's see if it works. You on Kansas camera now. All right, got my hands free. Look at that. This is, is going to be wild. Oh, that's a transformer right there. That's kind of cool. Might be missing a few pieces, but this might be a worthy one to grab. Hmm. There's a ton of stuff that I actually don't get on camera throughout the day, but I'll do a better breakdown of everything at the end of the video because it was a really good day at the Goodwill bins and a lot of the items definitely added up. Oh, cool. Been a wrestler and an uh, old vintage uh, Power Ranger. That's pretty cool. I think this is Lego Dots right here. The wristbands. Oh, nice Lego Duplo character. Wow, Counter-Strike. I remember this game. Oh, she's over there. Oh, okay. Metal Gear Solid 2? These are actually not bad games. Maybe there's nothing in here? Oh, no, they're in here. Hmm. I mean, they're not super pricey games, but still pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, it is a backpack, yeah. That's kind of cute. Yeah, I'll grab that, actually. Yeah, I don't know, I kind of like that Transformer shirt. Yeah. Found these, because they're listed look, for $20 each on uh, at Goodwill. Well, usually if they're listing for 20 each, that means a decent game, so Brutal Legend and Heavenly Sword. It's a little newer though. Actually, no, this is actually older. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is 90s. Made in China, 1995 Toy Biz. Nice. Where's that hiding? It's in the bottom of one of those things. It That's is so Atlanta. cool. No, we don't have one. Are you sure? We got rid of it. Like, the kids like broke it and got rid of it a long, long time ago. I think we have. Oh yeah, God. I have one at the Tetris at home. Yeah. That I've been saving because like, Tetris was my favorite game when I was a kid. Yeah, but... we have Tetris as well. Yeah. Yeah, the sit for a uh, Game Boy. Uh, I think the regular Game Boy. And wow. uh, I have the original Tetris for my original NES. That this I is our friend we made at the Goodwill Bins. She knows we're on the hunt for anything retro, so she actually gave us this as a gift. So very friendly gesture. And that's why it's good to always help other people out at the Goodwill Bins because you will always have karma work its way back to you. So found this randomly in the media bin. This is kind of crazy. Um, it's an 18 plus film. It looks like it's kind of like a mild snuff film, but like a classy snuff film. Pre-owned goes for like 20, 16, 17 dollars. That's decent for like a you know a 10 cent DVD that you can find at the bin. So we're probably gonna pick this up. So we're looking at 16 pounds. Nice. All right, I'm gonna split this outro into a few little video clips. Now I don't know why my wife got this. She actually picked this up. I think it's kind of like a pillowcase or something. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to ask her what that is. She found a really cool vintage 90 starter jacket, Calgary Flames. Now this is a small youth jacket, but it actually does fit her. Doesn't fit a man, unfortunately, unless you're like five foot three, but uh, it's still nonetheless, really cool vintage score there. Got a really vintage risk board game. And we actually took a look when we're at the bins and it does look to be complete. So pre-owned maybe 20 to $25. A nice little uh, Pokemon plush backpack there for kids. A nice crusty crab. A nice Krusty the Clown Simpsons plush. A nice Krusty the Clown Simpsons plush here. And we also got a Transformer shirt for me, which is, it's for me, it's not for reselling. And this is for me, it's not for reselling. I just like this shirt. 
And here's all the Lego stuff we got today. Two Lego Technic pieces here. This is a droid from, uh, I believe this is from the Phantom Menace. I looked up a few sold comps, looked to sell for about 20 to like $40 in this condition. It is missing its gun, at least part of its gun, I believe. Some Lego Dot stuff. And this is a Lego Technic BMW. And in this condition, it can sell for like 60 bucks. And this is basically complete pre-owned. It might be missing a few pieces of here and there. I haven't done too much research on this one yet, but of course we always find Lego Duplo. So we got another Lego Duplo piece, some more random Lego pieces, a random old vintage Lego minifigure, and also a Duplo minifigure as well. And here is the media section. I would say it was mostly a media day for us when it comes to the scores that we got. All of these games here, right on the top part, they only sell between like seven to maybe like 13, 14 dollars. This film actually sells for like 16 Canadian pre-owned, sometimes 20. That's in really good conditions. It's a very rare film here. Uh, it caught my eye because it said 18 plus. I looked at some of the imagery there and yeah, as you can see, definitely not PG. Definitely 18 plus. Now we have a few PlayStation 3 games, Heavenly Sword and Brutal Legend. This caught my eye because they were $20 in store. Now, obviously that's a little high for a thrift store. They only sell for about like 14 to like $23 pre-owned, but if you're buying it at the good old bins, you're basically paying like maybe 25 cents a piece, maybe 50 cents a piece if they have a, a lot of manuals in there. And this was probably the score of the day for me was the Super Mario Game Boy game now. As you can see right here, Super Mario Land, six golden coins. I looked up a few comps on this and it sells anywhere between like 25 to $40 pre-owned. So really nice considering the size of this. And we probably only paid like 15 cents for this and it was gifted to us at the Good Old Bins. That's why it's always important to make friends at the Good Old Bins. Honestly, it's good karma and you will be rewarded in the future, trust me. And here were the toys from today. A few Donkey Kongs here from 2009, an Amiibo, believe it or not. I don't know why someone left this there. I'm not sure if I got this one on camera though. It is Bowser looks to sell for about eh, about eight to like $15, nothing too crazy. Some Transformers pieces here. And I think it's a complete Transformer. I'll have to look up comps on that. Two LPS dolls and some Pokemon. Of course, we always find Pokemon, including these McDonald's Pokemon figures here. We also found a wrestling figure, not bad. Good articulation on that. I'll have to look up comps on that. And we also got a 1996 Spider-Man Toy Biz figure along with a Bondi. Power Ranger figure here, so both retro figures, a My Little Pony doll and a Hot Wheels 1987 uh, figure. I'm not sure if this is 100% complete though, but we always sell little things like this at toy shows. So nonetheless, a pretty good haul for us. Let me know what you think about this haul down below in the comment section. And remember guys, may your carts always be full.